Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Apex Legends All New Season 26. Make sure to watch this video till the end for all of the details and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off since it is an overlay service, it will consume a lot of your CPU resources. Once that is done, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on since it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background to allow you get better performance. Click on the graphic settings right underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games as it will use advanced features to reduce input latency and then click on advanced graphic settings and set your default high performance GPU to AMD Radeon graphics or your native graphic card whichever you have installed on your PC. Just make sure that it is not system default because it can use your CPU based graphics which we do not want. After that click on the add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game. Select Apex Legends folder and then select R5 Apex DX12.exe. Click on the add button and if that is already added, select it and for the GPU preference, change it from let Windows decide to high performance GPU. And after that, click on optimizations for windowed games and once that is done, head back to the home button and now you're gonna have to search for memory integrity and you'll find something called core isolation over here. Select that and then you're gonna have to turn this thing off. In most cases, this will help you to improve your FPS by a ton. Next step is compatible compatibility settings and for that head over to the download location of your game. Once you're in the folder, right click on your game exe file and then click on its properties. Select compatibility and then you wanna have to choose a disable full screen optimizations over here. This will help you to get rid of most of your input latency and black screen issues. Click on the apply button and close it. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and latency issues using Gear Booster. I have left a free download link right in the description below. Gear Booster is a free to use tool that helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game server without any hindrance, allowing you to fix packet loss, ping issues, latency and other network connectivity issues. It has a library of over 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Apex Legends over here and select it. Select the nearest region to you that is southeast for me and it will start one click boosting the game. Once it is done, you can launch your game right within that and see the estimated ping that you are getting. The best part about Gear Booster is the burger icon in which you have to go over to settings and then click on optimization settings and enable optimized RAM for boosting which will help you to free up unused RAM resources to utilize it in the game for better performance. I personally have used Gear Booster for a long time and I would definitely recommend you guys to go check out Gear Booster to fix all of your network issues for free from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that search for local group policy editor and simply open it up. Once you're over here, double click to open up computer configuration, then administrator templates, then windows components, and then add privacy. Right over here, you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this policy up and ensure that this is set to enable. Do not worry because this will only enable the policy and not the background apps. To disable the background apps, you have to select force deny on the default for all apps, and this will set your policy on to turn off the apps in the background. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here you have to set this thing to custom and disable everything except save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while tracking and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options will help you to keep the basic minimal look of your windows intact while disabling every single one of the unwanted animations on your PC. This will help you to improve the performance of your PC and might not help you to gain extra FPS but will make your windows smoother. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Apex so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Apex Legends Season 26 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this right in the description below. You guys can simply download it from there and you will find in 5 very simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority which contains D word values to optimize the performance of your CPU based on what CPU you are using. So if you have an AMD CPU you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority and if you guys have an Intel CPU you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Once that is done, head over to the second folder which is Apex Legends priority in which I have left high priority above normal priority and normal priority. 
To apply them, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. The third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your PC's RAM. I use 32GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. It could be different for you so you can apply it according to your PC. And once again, I have left a reset to default registry over here just in case anything goes wrong. The fourth folder over here is disabling unwanted services on your PC which is really useful. What you guys have to do is simply double click and disable every single one of these registries over here because they are absolutely useless and they are being run in the background consuming your CPU resources. Once again if you use any Bluetooth or printer services please do not disable them and by chance if you did you can head over to revert registries folder to turn them back on. Next folder is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files.bat you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This simple tool will help you to optimize your cache files. Simply press and this will delete all of the temporary files and cache files of your PC and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Don't worry, it's completely safe. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. This simple software allows you to manipulate the interrupt priority of your graphic card. To do that, simply select your graphic card and check the MSI button next to it. And for the interrupt priority, select high and then click on the apply button. This will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts and improve its performance without overclocking it. Once all of that is done, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is MS Config and for that simply search for MS Config on your PC and open system configuration up. Head over to the boot tab and click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here. Once that is done, click on OK and select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button, head over to the services tab and click on hide all Microsoft services. Then you wanna have to disable all kind of unwanted fan control services, RGB services, browser update services which you think that are absolutely useless. Disabling these services will reduce the process count on your CPU and help you to improve your FPS in the games. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. And this is really simple yet very important. Press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your keyboard to open up your task manager. Head over to the fourth tab which is generally for startup apps. Over here you'll find all of the applications that you might have installed on your PC and right over here you'll see the status. If the status is enabled, these applications are set to turn on as your PC boots up. In most cases you don't even use these applications so I would recommend you guys to disable the one that you do not use and only keep the ones on which you need after the boot of your PC. Over here I have disabled every single one of the application except Razer right client and a few other anti-cheat services like VGTray. Other than that, all of these services can be used whenever you need them. Simply search for the application and open it up yourself and disable the startup status. This will not only help you to optimize the performance of your PC, but it will also help you to reduce the BIOS time, which is the time taken by your PC to boot up. Once that is done, simply close it and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game setting. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear and then click on settings. Over here, come down to the video settings and make sure that your display mode is set to full screen. Your aspect ratio should be your native monitor aspect ratio and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Brightness and FOV are personal preferences. However, increasing your FOV will lead to performance issues. Then for FOV ability scaling, you guys can go with enabled. Sprint view shake, you guys can go with minimal. VSync, I have turned this thing off. AMD anti lag 2, if this option is available for you, turn this thing on. Or if NVIDIA reflex is showing for you guys, you can turn that on. For adaptive resolution FPS target, I have set this thing to 100, but you guys can reduce it to get extra performance out of your PC. Anti-aliasing, I don't have much options over here, so TSAA is my only preference. However, if you guys go to borderless windowed, you guys might be able to change it. For texture streaming budget, I have gone with medium, but you guys can also go with lower than this. It might reduce your quality of the game, but it will increase the FPS if you guys are facing FPS issues. Texture filtering. This is actually dirt cheap and you can turn this thing up to 2x or 4x without any kind of FPS issues. But if you guys are still facing issues, you can turn this thing off. For the ambient occlusion quality, you guys can go with disabled. Sun shadow coverage and sun shadow detail should be set to low and spot shadow detail, I have set this thing to low. Volumetric lighting should be turned off and dynamic spot shadows should also be set to disable. Model detail is set to medium, map detail high, effects detail and impact marks are low and disabled. Once that is done, press the apply button and now you guys can drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So that was it for this video guys, I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I really trust you all and will see you in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.